fire crews still mopping up the Valley View fire, and today crews are looking to determine the fire's cause. Good evening, I'm John Langler. KXLY Force Tanya Dahl joins us live from the command center. And Tanya, crews are still working on trying to get some containment. That's right, we're told that crews have been working around the clock out here, and they say so far 50% of that fire has been contained. Today, local and state officials took a tour of the devastated area. Officials say 13 homes were destroyed in the Dishman Hills fire. It's estimated now at 1,000 acres. Spokane Valley Mayor Richard Munson, Spokane County Sheriff Ozzie Knesevich, and Spokane County Commissioner Mark Richard were among the familiar faces that took the tour. The group stopped at two homes meeting firefighters who've been on the front lines and one family forced to evacuate. Mary Munson sa Mayor Munson says help from the, across the state has been tremendous. Hard work. Oh, it's been overwhelming. Uh, within that first night, we had people from uh, Kootenai County in, in, in Idaho, uh, as far south as Rosalia. We've had people come over from Snohomish County and King County that are out, out there fighting the fires right now and helping us clean up. I think we're getting some more in today. So the cooperation statewide has been marvelous. So far, help has come from an estimated 47 agencies and organizations. The Washington State Incident Management Team has taken over command of the fire. Earlier today, the governor's office announced that FEMA is picking up 75 percent of the state's cost for fighting this fire. And uh, we're also told that homeowners in the affected area are not being allowed back to their homes as of yet because they're worried about the fa fire not being fully contained. We still do not know the exact cause of this fire, and a property dollar estimate as to how much damage was done has not been released. Reporting live from the Valley, Tanya Dahl, KXLY4.